So you know how we be kikiing that there's a difference between white mama biracials and black mama biracials, right? This is an actual sociological phenomenon that I really think we could trace back to slavery. Stay with me. So back in the day, the child would take on the status of the mother, which means that no matter how much blackness you had in you, if your mama was a slave, your mama could have been a mulatto, a crajoon, a full black woman. If she was a slave, you would therefore be a slave. So you had children who had white slave owner daddies, but were being raised, the labor of raising them was on their black and slave mothers. And whether or not we want to admit it, Culture came out of slavery, right? So not only were these children taking on the status of being enslaved, they were taking on the cult culture of being enslaved. They were taking on norms, music, language, etc. They were being, they were seeing themselves as black people, regardless of their genetic makeup. And their black enslaved mothers had to navigate that with them. They had to raise them through that. And white men were able to continue procreating these biracial children with no consequence. So much so that there were laws saying you couldn't technically grape a black enslaved woman because black enslaved women were naturally promiscuous. But on the flip side, black enslaved men weren't really having kids with white women like that. They, <laughs> they literally would be caught dead if they they did. White women would still sexually assault them or if there was a sexual relationship the black men would just be accused of assault if they got caught and we've seen that play out for decades. So by the time that interracial relations became legal there had been centuries of white men being able to grip and pregnant black women and black women having to raise those children as their own and embed them within slave culture and black culture. But black men never had to do that same type of labor. Yeah we back. Now, this is going to be a very short video. I'm not going to waste too much time on, you know, the, the low IQ sector of society. But I'm just going to come through, politely debunk her, and just, you know, keep it moving, man. First things first, what we have to understand is, you know, life, the world is bigger than North America. You know, for some reason, it seems that history seems to start and end in the United States. And she didn't even acknowledge how the slavery system was operating in different parts of the Western Hemisphere and different parts of the world. She thinks that the British colonial system, the American colonial system was what was happening throughout the world. And that's just not the case. For example, under the French colonial system, those mixed race mulatto niggas with, with black mothers, they didn't give a fuck about no blackness. They didn't see themselves as black men. They didn't see themselves as African. They looked down on the Africans. They looked down on the black men. They looked down on the black women as well. A mixed race man on a French colony wouldn't even marry a black woman, even if his his mother was a black woman straight from Africa. He wasn't marrying that black woman. Man, there was a story that goes, General Jean-Jacques Dessalines, he offered his daughter, his black daughter, his full black daughter, he offered her hand in marriage to General Alexander Petron, who he known was a quadroon general in the Haitian Revolution, right? Who came with the French expedition in 1802 to reinstate slavery. Yes, the vast majority of non-black men that were part of the French expedition, they were mixed race mulatto men with black mothers, right? We're not even talking about back on the African continent, how the mixed race seeds of white men and black women were functioning as heavy power players in the slave trade. You know, we're not even gonna talk about how about over 25% of the slave owners on the French colony of Saint-Domingue, present-day Haiti, were mixed-race mulatto men with black mothers and white fathers who saw themselves, for the most part, as white European descendants. And then every now and again, you know, you had a, a, a sprinkle of honorable mulatto men who saw themselves as black men, but for the most part, they saw themselves as descendants of white Frenchmen. They did not see themselves as descendants of black Africans or native people. They saw themselves as descendants of Europeans. They saw themselves as, you know, dark Europeans with a tan. So I don't even understand this delusion that a black mother is going to make a black child, a mixed race child, I should say, more culturally black when history points that the biggest traitors that we've ever seen have been the mixed race biracial sons created by European men and African women. It doesn't get more traitorous. It doesn't get more of a scumbag than the biracial products of the Europeans and the African women. It is what it is, man. It's just a fact. They never saw themselves as black. They always looked down on the blacks. They always saw themselves as closer to the Europeans and they did everything in their power to draw themselves closer to Europeans to gain that acceptance. In fact, y'all remember when Haiti agreed to pay those billions of dollars as reparations to French slaveholders. You know who was responsible for that? Yeah, it was a biracial man with a black mother and a white father. Yeah, yeah. Do you know who was behind the assassination of General Jean-Jacques Dessalines, the greatest black man to ever step foot on the field of battle? 
it was a mixed race man so i don't understand this nonsense you know applying what happened in north america as if the same can be applied to what happened in brazil what happened in dr what happened in colombia what happened in haiti what happened on the african continent you can't apply that bullshit that happened in north america to what happened in different parts of the black world it's just not historical fact for the most part outside of america biracials were known as some double crossing double teaming playing both sides both hands in a pot both feet in both buckets trying to play both sides crossing both sides of the street trying to be white and black if the whites is winning then they white if the blacks is winning then they black man nobody could trust them at all so i don't know what happened i don't know what this this propaganda that so many black women are pushing on social media that a black mother is somehow going to make the child more culturally black when all historical evidence points to black women have pushed out millions and millions of traitors out of their wombs period point blank all right i've never i don't understand how a white man a european man you know straight from the lands of the colonizers straight from the lands of the invaders and the plunderers and the pillagers are gonna raise a pro-black child this is the nonsense that i'll be saying like as an intelligent black man do you know how hard it is to find an intelligent black woman out here in these streets bro the facts are the facts the majority of our young women out in these streets are just not very intelligent bro and if you happen to just stumble and fall on an intelligent black woman that actually knows what's going on and actually you know is not an airhead is not a buffoon man hold on to that type bro hold on to that type because we have an oversupply of miseducated women that then sat in these western curriculum classrooms that have pretty much thrown their brains into a blender and turned it into a smoothie and now they pretty much have nothing of value to add to any discussion like they're just so damn airheaded bro that's why we just smash on them and just keep it pushing bro because after we get smashing on them as soon as they open their mouth and try to start talking man man they bound to start saying something goofy man so it is what it is man you know the propaganda never ends and the reason why she said this nonsense is most likely because she's probably dating a white man right and there's a phenomenon out here in these streets right you got these black women right who are dating white men or they probably getting smashed by white men so in order to justify their actions right in order to you know not feel like a damn idiot every time they look in the mirror they make up these you know these wild claims talking about oh yeah a white man can raise a black child better than a black man you know what i mean just to justify that they getting bent over the couch by a damn goofy looking white boy they're gonna just lie on the historical evidence that we already have that biracials especially the biracials that have popped out of black women's stomachs are some of the most traitorous scumbags that have sold out the black race that we've ever seen in life if you're a biracial with a with a black mother i'm sorry to say this bro yeah yeah your your stock has been responsible for some of the biggest biggest acts of treachery that we've ever seen and i can always use my country as an example it was because of the biracials with the black mothers that put us in debt over a hundred years paying reparations to french slaveholders because that biracial with the white father saw himself in his white father right so he was paying back his father his uncles his grandfathers yeah the biracials in the french colonies they really weren't on the plantation like that nah they were up in france at the at the high at the best universities you know what i mean at the at the military academies they were living good man they were living good in fact they were some of the richest men on the on the colony if you want to be honest right they were the ones giving out loans they were the ones even though they were marginalized in politics in terms of the economic power the mulatto biracials they had a lot of power they didn't see themselves as black men they didn't see themselves as slaves but because she has this view where north america the united states is the only place on the planet that matters the history of other places where black people existed doesn't even register in her mind right we have a lot of airhead women out here in these streets bro if you are an intelligent black man on a hunt for an intelligent black woman, <laughs> good luck, my brother, good luck, because the pickings are slim, and a lot of these chicks are just straight up goofy, even though they might try to sound intelligent, they might try to sound pro-black, a lot of you hoes is just, just not very smart, man. But anyways, it's your boy Nefakari Desilene, back in the building, yes indeed, and I'm gone, peace. Oh, and of course, we can go all the way back. We discuss what happened on the African continent. We discuss what happened in the, the New World, in the European colonies. We can take it all the way back to Egypt. How do you think Egypt went from being a black civilization to being a mixed race civilization to at the end becoming a white civilization? It's because all those white men came in, smashing on the black women, and then imposing their sons in the seat of power until their sons sold out the entire civilization. This is the history of the mixed race man with the black mother. He is a traitor. He is a scumbag. He is, is a puppet for his white father. And nobody respects him. It is what it is, bro. It's just this one drop rule nonsense. Got everybody thinking that, oh, you know, yeah, the, the mixed race. Yeah, they, they in the struggle with us. Yeah, the mixed race with the white father. They just as black as us. You ain't, you ain't as black as us, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. It's your boy Nefakari Dessaline back in the building. Yes, indeed. And I'm gone. Peace. Oh, and actually, I had forgot to mention. Actually, when Dessaline offered his daughter's hand in marriage to General Alexander Pitchon, General Alexander Pitchon declined. 
he declined his offer. He did not want he did not want to marry into the imperial royal family of Haiti. He did not want to marry into the Dessaline family. He did not want to marry Dessaline's daughter because she was a black woman. She was a full-blooded black woman, and he chose to marry Jute Lachine, who was also a quadroon, just like he was. So, at the end of the day, we got to stop this nonsense talking about how black women raise more black children. Man, black women raise traitors. When we look at the historical evidence, the vast majority of mixed-race seeds that have popped out of black women in the past few centuries have been nothing but traitors who are trying to align themselves with European culture as best as possible. Even in North America, in the United States, you have what was called white passing, where you had black people who were trying to pass for white. So stop this nonsense about how white men raise better black children than black men. All this, all this propaganda just to justify the fact that y'all out here getting bent over the couch and getting married to white men. And y'all trying to still be pro-black. Y'all trying to still hold that pro-black line with your white husband and, and his white family and your white in-laws. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay? At the end of the day, children are going to align with the culture of the father, the head of the household, the patriarch of the family. Stop this delusion thinking that your white man is going to raise better black children than black men. It is what it is. You hoes are goofy. You hoes are goofy. And that's why intelligent black men, we're not really, we're not really taking the dating scene serious, man. Because we know you hoes is goofy. We know most of y'all only got like four brain cells. And y'all swear y'all so pro-black and so intelligent. But we see right through the gimmicks. And we see right through the bullshit. It is what it is, man. It's your boy Nevercard Desaline. And I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, sh now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Then for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need to protect it. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and making ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art. And they can never be taught Selling my soul I can never be bought Play all my money I see you ain't caught Run to the check And I do it for sport Babylon falling I go to the source Packing my luggage And go overseas Shorty be with me And she so at least Shorty be chugged And I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence Probably gon' murk me Don't fuck with brands Cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit And you're smacking their faces